In sports today, the LA Kings take on the newly revamped Ottawa Senators, and this year's Lou Marsh recipient has been announced. Here's Ainsley Smith with the details and the rest of your sports news. Thanks, Adriana. LA Kings D-man Drew Doughty recently announced that the team isn't scoring enough and that things needed to change. The Kings took on the Ottawa Senators in the first game of the coach's tenure. Carter feeds off We're going to start things off net. in the second. Like Kings demon Matt Green puts one in net. His slapper deflected in Green's second of the year. It opens up the scoring. Midway through the period, Jake Muzzin to Justin Williams. Counted through the wickets with a five hole. Williams' seventh goal of the year, 2-0 Kings. Under six to go in the period, behold the greatness of Bobby Ryan. He managed to score with a broken finger, his sixth of the season, cutting the Kings lead 2-1. to one. Fast forward to the third, Kings on the power play, but the Sens are the ones threatening. Leg one to Mark Stone, and we're tied at two. Ottawa is going berserk. Now with less than a minute to play, the Kings are up 4-3. Talk about pressure for the home team. And here comes Tanner Pearson, putting the nail in the coffin with an empty netter. Kings win 5-3. Canadian bobsled pilot Kaylee Humphreys has capped off a standout season by winning this year's Lou Marsh Award for Canadian Athlete of the Year. Two days in a four year Humphreys cycle. is the first bobsledder to ever win the Lou Marsh Trophy, and she's also the first female in the sport to win back to back Olympic golds. Other finalists included Eugenie Bouchard, Milos Ronich, Drew Doughty, and lacrosse star Johnny Paulus. The MLB winter meetings in San Diego have come to an end, and in typical professional sport fashion, most of the action took pla place late last night. The LA Dodgers improved at second base with a pair of blockbuster trades, sending second baseman D. Gordon to Miami in a six-player trade. They also received a package of players in return, including pitching prospect Andrew Heaney, who then they flipped to, to the Angels for the veteran second baseman Howie Kendrick. Over in the American League, the Boston Red Sox made a pair of deals to improve their rotation. First by signing veteran free agent pitcher Justin Masterson, then they sent left fielder Jonas Cespedes, who they received at the trade deadline in the John Lester deal, to the Detroit Tigers in exchange for starting pitcher Rick Porcello. And in other sports, a Philippine fraternity is raising eyebrows and a number of other things. They're in a race to draw attention to government corruption. A warning to our viewers, this is not a wardrobe malfunction. The oblation run has been an annual tradition at the University of the Philippines. Frat members wear masks and hold signs of protest, while some hand out roses to students as they run through the halls. The purpose of the event is to encourage a stand against government corruption. The tradition is said to have started in the 1970s. We've just seen what Mother Nature has in store, but here's Donna Sevillier with your three-day forecast. Can we expect any more snow over the weekend? Hi Ainsley. Well, the answer is an absolute no. <laughs> but this break won't last long, so we might as well enjoy it while it lasts. Let's take a look at our three-day forecast. Today we're reaching a high of plus one with sunshine to bring us home into a cloudy evening. The temperature will be dropping to a low of minus two. But for the weekend, the temperature will be rising above the freezing mark to plus four. Tomorrow will feel like plus one with the wind chill and it'll be cloudy with some sunny breaks. But that sunshine will last for only a good two hours. Sunday will also be a mix of sun and cloud, feeling like zero degrees with the wind chill. The temperature, however, will drop to zero degrees for the evening. We won't have to worry about shovels for the next little while, but Mother Nature can be full of surprises. That's all for our three-day forecast. Now back to you, Adriana. Thanks, Donna. We leave you today with this amazing video. It's beautiful, but not for the faint of heart. That's all for today. For details of these stories and more, check out HumberNews.ca. Humber News is produced by students in the journalism program at the North Campus. I'm Adriana Jung. From all of us here at Humber TV News, have a wonderful holiday. See you next year.
can we go through